Hello guys, welcome to RC Techno Friends. Today we are going to learn about how to work with the graphical user interface GUI using Java. Under this we are going to learn about the applets. The applets. Okay. So till now we have uh, discussed about the console applications. Okay. Where we are going to have a boring boring black screen where we need to enter the input and where we need to get the output okay so this is the con this these type of applications are going to be known as the uh, console applications okay but uh, the java is going to provide us with the platform independent so we when we are going to have the platform independent though, okay then we need to move on to the next level of the application development we haven't seen till now so the next level of the application development is the desktop applications okay the applications which we are going to have in our any type of the programming language are divided into three types for the they are first the console applications okay and the second one is we are going to have a more uh, less developed applications called uh, the desktop applications and the third one we are going to have the more developed applications and more reachable applications are the web applications okay the console applications are nothing but which we are going to have the command line okay which we are going to have in the command line and uh, whereas the desktop applications are going to have some window based applications we are going to design and whereas the web applications they are going to be developed to available in the internet for anyone in the world can use okay this command line application is a system uh, when we need to have that one okay we need to have the dot class files and we need to have the uh, when uh, we need to have that things to be installed uh, available in our system okay and window based applications which are going to be have a .exe file or a dot or jr or some installation files will be there okay then we need to click on we need to install them into our our system okay and then only we can use those things okay and the web applications which can be available throughout the internet and anyone can use in the world the web applications okay and uh, in the part of OOPC through Java we are going to learn how to develop the console applications and how to develop the desktop applications okay so this is about the applets okay so we are going to learn the applets in the part of uh, object oriented programming concepts through Java okay so let us move on to the uh, applets description okay so applet is a special type of program that is embedded in the web page to generate the dynamic content okay so it is going to be embedded into the web page or a uh, window okay which is used to generate the dynamic content based on the user input and uh, it runs inside the browser and works at a uh, client side so it is a uh, client side so it is going to be uh, going to be uh, used in the browsers and it will be executed at the client side okay there are many advantages of applet they are uh, it works at client side, so less response time will be taken to execute any uh, applet. Okay, so it is secure because it is going to be embedded into browsers, and it can be executed by browsers running under any many platforms, including Linux operating system, Windows operating system, Mac operating system, and any other operating systems we have. Okay, so this is about the applets. Okay, so this is the hierarchy of the applets. The uh, super class for applet class is panel, and the uh, uh, the whole super class is object okay we are going to create the object for the applets also here okay so whatever the applet program we are going to write that can be that needs to be implemented or extended from this applet class if i am going to have my applet okay so i am creating my applet let me once I am creating my applet.
okay so this has to be in uh, extended by the applet uh, class okay this has to be extended the applet class has to be extended by my applet class the a class we are going to create we are going to create okay to have the applets into be uh, to be uh, embedded into our web pages okay so uh, the life cycle of the applet so here everyone everyone he is going to have their life cycle so like that uh, we are going to have the life cycle for the applet also okay the applet is going to be initialized or newborn baby when an init method has been called okay and it is going to be started uh, to run okay when i am going to call the start method okay and it is going to be idle phase okay when i am going to call the stop method and uh, uh, again i can mention i can start it run uh, make it to run uh, by using by calling a start method okay uh, and uh, i am going to destroy or i am going to kill the applet uh, by using a method called uh, destroy and the method paint is used to make the things to be executed okay make the things whatever the things we need to display on the applet and whatever the things we need to execute by the applet that has to be included in our paint method okay so the life cycle methods we have here are four okay so init start stop and destroy these are the so init is used to initialize as we have discussed as we have seen in the uh, image okay so like that we are going to have the life cycle methods for the applet so here i am going to have a skeleton for my life cycle uh, applet okay so this is my skeleton okay um so which is going to have the init method start method stop method destroy method and paint method okay so they are going to call whenever it is it needs to be executed and uh, the execution of the applet can be done in uh, two ways okay so uh, one is by the html file and the second one is the applet viewer tool okay so the html file is uh, uh, going to be uh, it is going to be executed in the browser okay the browser we need to use is uh, the internet explorer and there we need to perform some operations to execute the H uh, applets okay today we are going to look at uh, how to execute the uh, applets using applet viewer tool okay so uh, we are going to look at the applet viewer tool here so uh, where we are going to have a program where we are going to have a program uh, java program followed by some html code to be embedded into our dot java file okay our dot java file right uh, so the the applet viewer okay let us move on to an example program okay so here i am going to have a example program now okay so control s so applet uh, test.java okay so i need to import uh, two packages one is java.awt.star uh, look here okay and uh, the second one is i need to import uh, import uh, java.applet.star uh, uh, okay all these are two are the java packages only okay and a public class applet test which is going to extend the applet to make our program as an applet program okay and here uh, i don't have any main method so uh, the main method is not going to be available in our applet programs okay because they are not a console based application so uh, for that purpose, we are not going to have any applet based programs, the applet uh, main method here. Okay, so for that purpose, we are going to have a method called public void paint of graphics object G. This graphic object is going to uh, do the writing and read uh, all the necessity drawing and all the necessity operations to be performed on the applet to be done by only G okay and uh, the g has a method called uh, draw there are so many methods available there okay from that uh, i have a method called uh, draw, draw string okay which is going to write uh, the string onto the applet okay write the string onto the 
applet. So welcome to my first applet. Okay, followed by followed by you need to mention the position of this string to be drawn on the screen. Okay, so x axis screen twentieth place and uh, thirty y axis. Okay, and uh, done. So this is about the my drawstring method, my drawstring method. Okay, and uh, so this is for mine. Okay, so this is for my, right? Uh, now let us check execute h. Okay, so to execute uh, this applet uh, programs, okay, you need to go for first. You need to uh, activate the applet viewer, activate the applet viewer from your Java. Uh, software okay so where you have installed your java program you need to find out so i have installed in a program files java okay and in the jdk i'm going to have bin okay in which i'm going to have a in which i'm going to have a applet viewer.exe file okay you need to activate this one first okay so you can be activated by just open this one that's it nothing to do anything so okay you need to just uh, open this one by double clicking on it okay now our system is going to our our uh, uh, syst uh, operating system is going to know where the exact applet viewer is there and it whether it is activated or not okay and now i'm going to uh, execute this one so elo java okay revision class java c Applet, what is my program name? Applet test dot Java. Okay, there are no errors. Okay, in the previous uh, console applications, we have used uh, Java C followed by Java, but here I need to use the applet uh, viewer followed by not the class name, the file name you need to mention. And uh, when I click on it, okay. It will not show anything because I haven't mentioned this as an applet. So how could I mention this as an applet? Okay, so I need to mention this as an applet by using a applet tag. Okay, so this applet tag is going to mention that it is an HTML tag actually. Okay, so it is going to mention you that how to uh, what kind of the applet it is and uh, how you are going to execute that one how you are going to execute that one so for that purpose applet followed by code okay the code is nothing but where the code is available so it is available in my applet uh, test dot uh, class file okay not java file class file followed by how much of the width you need to have for your applet okay so i need to have for 400 and a height you need to mention here okay it is also 400 and then later you need to close this one and uh, remember one thing you need to make this as a comment of your program because this is not a java code this is not a java code it is a html code so you need to comment this one in your program right so now i am going to save this one and i am compiling it again okay and now i'm executing this one okay which is going to start my applet okay and it is going to display the message welcome to my first applet welcome to my first applet and here i have the screen okay just like a frame okay and here i have a menu over here okay so in the menu okay i have some uh options are there okay the first option is restart second option is reload third stop fourth save start clone okay and a tag info okay which is going to give you your applet info and parameter info if you mention there okay and uh, uh tags okay what is the tag you have used there to uh, execute your program okay so the applet code applet test dot class with 400 height 400 applet okay and uh, when i click on stop method so the applet has been stopped look here look here 
look here applet stop because i have clicked on applet stop okay so right so again i'm going to start this one started either restart either restart or start okay i'm stopping again and i'm clicking on start okay and i'm stopping again and i'm clicking on reload okay so which is going to be disappear disabled okay and uh, again i'm going to start okay and click on clone okay which is going to be executed for again okay and created again and now look here only one applet viewer is available here and uh, there are three okay and i'm closing the first one second one and i'm closing the first one okay so this is a uh, how to execute uh, the applets using applet viewer right okay guys so this applet code is going to this applet tag is going to mention you that uh, it has an applet it has an applet and it should have width and height of 400 400 and the code which is available in applet test data class okay if i am going to have this one with a scale dot class okay just assume that okay so applet test dot html okay and uh, which is going to execute my applet scale dot java program which has a background method red and a foreground method white and so on so on is that clear so which is going to mention you that uh, what uh, what applet you want to execute look no need to compile again no need to compile again so i can directly use that one to find out things okay so this is about the applet viewer execution by the applet viewer okay guys so all right so applet display method so we have seen the draw string draw string already so which is going to have a string message followed by int x followed by into y this is the x axis value and y axis value where you need to put the message where you need to put the message look here here i have mentioned a 20 comma 20 okay so the message welcome the w has to be started at the 20th position in the in the x axis okay and the 20th position from the y axis okay so this is what we are going to have right okay so and the next one is we have two methods to set the for foreground and background colors okay so the background color set background and set foreground which is going to take parameter the color value the class object of the the object of the color class or of uh, these methods which we have variables which we have in the color class okay the variables which are final in the color class available are color dot block color dot blue color dot orange color dot red color dot gray white green yellow magenta and uh, whatever the colors you want you can use them okay let us check it out let us check it out g dot uh, set background of color dot pink let us just because which is not there in, in my displayed listed out colors okay so instead of pink okay i can mention magenta okay and uh, uh, let us check it out let us check it out what it is going to be happen over here look so uh, which i have mentioned the colors i have mentioned here are black blue orange red gray white green but uh, i have taken the color magenta over here color magenta over here so it is available there okay instead of having magenta i can select uh, yellow okay i can select uh, 
hello and now what i'm going to do i'm going to compile it again and i'm going to execute this one now the background color is hello now the background color is hello okay so like this i can have the background color for my applet and i can mention the foreground color also i can mention the foreground color also so uh, i'm going to mention the foreground color here okay so search for ground of color dot watch or dark gray dark gray okay so ouch gray spelling is g r a y gray so gray gray is not available so i am going to take the white here okay and uh, or java c applet test dot java okay and applet we are so it is going to have background as yellow and foreground as white instead of white i can mention it as capital r e t let us check it out whether it is working or not right okay there is no problem and there is no problem with my white tone foreground color also okay foreground color also the foreground color is nothing but it is a font color you want to mention for your application applet okay right and now the next thing is you can mention the get background and get foreground okay you can get the colors okay so let me go for this one new line character okay uh the background color is okay plus what is that get back ground let us check it out what it is going to happen now sorry 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 okay so right now the background color okay i am going to have welcome to my first applet the background color is java dot awt dot color of r is equal to 255 comma g is equal to 255 comma b is equal to 0 in the rgb color okay so the red is 255 and the green is 255 then the combination of red and green full okay it will be hello okay and there is no blue so that's why it is not available here okay and uh, look here i am not able to print the new line character over here new line character over here so what i need to do now i need to make this as the new string g dot draw string of in the double quotes i need to mention comma now 40 comma 20 look here now i am going to get the exactly what i want look okay so now sorry x axis value has to be changed over there okay sorry so it is uh, 20 comma 40 right so welcome to my first applet the background color is java dot awt dot color of r is equal to 255 g is equal to 255 b is equal to 0 so which is going to give us like that okay and get foreground is also going to give us the same manner but the r is equal to 55 g is equal to 0 b is equal to 0 because i have a red value over there and uh, displaying the graphics in your applet okay so the draw string we have already done with you, okay and if i wanted to draw the rectangle in my applet then i can use the draw rect okay and if i want to get a 
filled rectangle okay then i can use the uh, fill rect method okay and uh, i have draw oval okay and i have fill oval okay and i have draw line okay draw image draw arc fill arc okay set color set the font what kind of the font you want to mention okay so now what i am going to do is i am going to have a new program okay so graphic applet dot java okay graphic applet dot java so in which i am going to have the two statements java dot awt dot star import java dot applet dot star okay and the public class applet sorry graphic applet which extends as applet okay all right now i need to have a pen method so public void range of graphics g okay graphics g right now i am going to have a g dot draw line method okay first i wanted to draw a line so which is going to have int x1 y1 x2 y2 so uh, if i wanted to have a draw a line okay so like this for example okay and uh, uh the x axis value is the x axis under the first point i wanted to start the uh line is from 20 comma 30 let us assume this is the x1 comma y1 okay and the next one i need to have from x2 comma y2 which is okay x axis okay so x axis has been changed okay so the x axis here i need to mention it as a uh, 80 let us assume okay and the y axis okay so i need to get from 40 okay so now the value draw line is going to take x1 comma y1 right let us let us check it out so x1 y1 x2 y2 so x1 y1 so x1 y1 is x1 y1 is 20 comma 30 comma 80 comma 40 80 comma 40 and never forget to have the applet code over here okay so applet code is equal to graphic applet do i need to have a dot class or not i am going to check it out width is equal to 400 height is equal to 400 so slash applet slash applet and i'm going to compile this one okay so java c graphic applet dot java okay there is no problem with my code so applet viewer graphic applet dot java so it has been okay so 30 comma 40 only 10 points down okay so i wanted to make the x2 y2 will be not 40 but it is 60 and this is 90 let us check it out what it is going to happen now okay so look so i have drawn a line here 
I have drawn a line here, okay, which starts from 20, 30 and which ends with 90, 60. 90, 60. Okay, so look, guy, look over here, guys. So I have written here graphic applet only, not dot class. I haven't mentioned any dot class over here. Okay, so this is there is no problem with uh, when I have mentioned that the graphic dot class are not in the comment line. Okay, so now next I'm going to use a method called use a method called okay, so the draw rect okay, so the draw rect is going to have the x and y axis values followed by int width and uh, int height okay, so I'm going to have g dot uh, draw rect. Uh, so x axis, y axis value 10 comma 90 I have taken already. Okay, so now I'm going to have the 40 comma 60 and uh, the width I we need to mention here is 60 comma 60. Let us check it out what it is going to happen over there. Right, and now Java C graphic applet and now I got uh, exactly beneath my line, I got a rectangle, a square, because I have mentioned 60 comma 60. If the height, height and width uh, not matches, then it is going to be a rectangle. It is going to be a rectangle. Okay. And next, uh, if I want to draw a oval, okay, draw an oval. So, let me have g dot draw oval okay uh 70 comma 70 comma 20 comma 60 comma 60. let us Okay, so I got a circle. Okay, oh well, when I'm going to have the height and width are differ. Okay, so then I'm going to get a sixty comma sixty. Okay, in place of sixty, I'm going to have eighty. Let us check it out. Java C graphic pledge. Okay, I'm going to have a rectangle. I'm going to have a rectangle. So like this, I can have the my I can have my applets drawing uh, the graphics in my applets. Okay, along with this, I can mention the image, a picture, a picture in my in my applets okay so how to display an image in your applet okay so applet is mostly used in games and animation so we are going to use this applet sir uh, in the games as well as the animation so for this for this purpose we need to we need to display the images also so the awt.graphics class provide a method called a draw image to display the image the syntax of the draw image is here the first one we need to mention the image okay image over there okay and the next uh, where exactly it has to display int x comma y values and x axis and y values values okay and uh, the fourth parameter we are going to have in image observer okay image observer we are going to look at okay and other re required methods we need to have for the displaying the images in your applet are get document base and uh, get a code base Okay, get document base and get code base. The document base is going to uh, find out whether where the exact URL. Okay, so URL we are going to have for the uh, HTML code. Okay, so the HTML code is available and uh, the code base is going to return the uh, where the exactly the Java file is available. Okay, so here I need to have I I have a uh, program here over here okay so display image
right? So here, uh, how one picture over here, so image picture, so image object, right? Look here, image object, okay? So the image object is going to get the image from the document base, okay? Uh, the document base, okay? And the document, in the document base, I have a, uh, what is that image called rc.png okay and uh, the draw image is going to take four parameters the first parameter is the picture object the second parameter is where exactly the x-axis value where exactly it has to start the drawing of the image okay and the y-axis value and followed by the image observer the image observer is nothing but the class object of the current class i'm going to take here okay and uh, which is going to have a display image dot a class file over here okay with 400 comma 400 height and width width okay so let me go for execution of this draw uh, display image mesh program okay so java c display image dot java okay so next uh, i'm going to have the Applet viewer display image dot java so which is going to display an image which I have mentioned which I have available which I have in my my revision folder look here in the revision folder I have a rc dot png file is there okay so this png file is going to be displayed in my program right with the help of a method called draw image with the help of, with the help of a method called draw image okay guys so all right okay so next uh, we are going to have the animations also okay dot gif uh, uh, images we are going to take and uh, we are going to make that uh, to be animated over there okay so let us check it out this animation dot example the same draw image we are going to use and the get image uh, method we are going to use to uh, get the image to be taken into the picture okay and uh, the draw image is going to take in okay and the draw image is going to be taken to print the uh, picture okay for 500 seconds okay and uh, that uh, zero to 500 actually okay so uh that a try block is going to sleep for the 100 seconds 100 milliseconds okay every time okay and uh, uh this uh, here we are going to have the uh animation example applet code okay so this earth.gif i have downloaded from the internet okay so let let us check it out okay what exactly it is going to be happen over there okay so java c animation example dot java okay and uh, i'm going to have uh applet viewer animation example dot java so now it is going to be animated right okay is that clear guys so every 100 milliseconds it is going to be move on for every zero to 500 okay so uh, that uh, x-axis is going to be changed. Look here, the x-axis value is not a constant 30 comma 30, but it is 0 comma 500. It is between 0 comma 500. And uh, every, uh, every time it is going to wait for uh, 100 milliseconds. Okay, so like this, I can have the animation. Look, it is, it is going on, it is going on, right. Later, it will move out of the screen, right? So, like this, I'm going to have the animation examples, okay? And next, uh, we are going to have the event handling in our plates, okay? So, we have seen in Sphinx, okay, in a J frame, we have seen the uh, uh, event handling, okay? Uh, with the help of uh, some legioners, okay? We have used it there. When we have click on the button, Okay, it is going to uh, perform some action. Okay, when mouse click 
has an action mouse clicker has performed over there okay then it is going to perform some operation over there and so on so on so okay so like that we are going to have the event listener see here also we have available with uh, in app pairs okay the uh, the some of them are action listener mouse motion listener mouse listener key listener and uh, there are so many other okay so here we are going to look at the action listener here okay so uh, we will check it out with an example over here. Okay, so the event applet I have created. Okay, right, and uh, this belongs to the awt dot uh, event class. Okay, so uh, which has which is going to be extends applet and uh, which is going to implement the action listener. Okay, and I have two field two uh, components over here, button and a text field, as just like a J frame and uh, uh, all this all those things which we have in the um, Swings okay, and uh, the button B and uh, text field TF we are going to have here. So the TF is equal to new text field, uh, TF dot set bounds okay, B is equal to new button. So we are going to look at these components uh, in the next class okay. So, but uh, here we, uh, we are going to discuss about the action listeners first okay. So, uh, here I am using the action performed method to uh, read in the value from the text field into a string value. And uh, the text field value is going to be set by the welcome message. Okay, let us check it out. Java C event applet dot Java. Okay, and I'm going to have applet ur event applet dot Java. And here I'm going to enter my name over there and I click on this okay and the content of my text box is going to be converted to welcome Ravi Chaitanya and again I have clicked so welcome welcome Ravi Chaitanya it is going to over there right so this is about the events which we are going to have in our applets okay guys so uh, uh, with this I am going to conclude today's session